So here's my uh, DataSnap REST server. We've got port 8086, and we have a server methods unit. The server method unit has a database on it, a T-SQL connection. It is going to the employee table on Interbase. We have a T-SQL data set, which is simply a table going after the employee table. In code, we have the get record count. That gives me the record count. I have the get record. That gives me the first name and last name. Here's all my server methods. Get records be returned as a tjson array. We create a tjson array. We open the data set. Uh, while we still have records, we create a tjson object. We add the pair last name is the name and, la and the actual value from the database is the, f uh, the field contents last name. We have the second pair we have is uh, first name, getting the first name of course. We add that element to the array and we keep going until the number of records is exhausted in the table. Finally we return it. On the RAD Studio side, if you were to write a client, the way you would get the data back from this type of server method is you would get the record number, the index, into the array and, and cast it as a tjson object, finally get the last name and the first name out of it, and call the uh, json value property and the dot value to get it back as a string. Okay, let's run this. We're going to start the server. We're going to open a browser. We see that we have three methods. Get record count. We can execute it. We have 42 records. Let's go ahead and get the uh, zeroth record. We get Nelson Robert. Okay, the last record is number 41. We execute and we get Mark Guckenheimer. When I execute get records, I get the entire array back. Here's my client my IP address as you can tell is 10.20.5.136 and my port number is 8086 when I click on the button that says get data from DataSnap and Interbase I create the connection then I loop through all the records from 0 to get record count minus 1 get record count remember was that method that uh, returns the number of records. I then do a get record on each one, pass the number of uh, the record that I want, and first name and last name is going to come out of there, and then I add it to the memo. Get record is slightly more advanced, mainly because it has more parameters. I'm going to create the data snap command. It's a get command, as far as the rest is concerned. The method name is called tServerMethods1.getRecord. I prepare it with three parameters. So the first one is called RECNO, the second one is first name, the last one is last name. They are as follows, input value, output value, and output value. The first one is a int32 type, so that's an int32 as far as a string. The two last ones are wide string types. Right before we execute, we have to set the value of the record number for this call to succeed properly. We go after the zeroth parameter, which is RECNO. We set that value as an int32 to the parameter that we passed in to this method, RECNO. We execute the REST command, and finally we get back first name and last name. On the command, on the CMD here, we do a get parameter by index 1 and 2, we get the value, we get it as a string, and we call the method that returns it as a UTF-8 string. Okay, let's take a look at what this actually looks like on the on the device. So what we do is, from uh, now, what we do, I have this on a shared drive between uh, the Windows VM and the Macintosh hardware that I'm sitting on. We're going to go into Xcode. We're going to open this project. Here it is. You see the same, uh, the same source code now in Xcode. We run this project on the simulator, and up comes 
my iPhone simulator. Here's my IP address. I click on Get Data from Data Snap and Interbase, and there are my records. As you can tell, these are from the employee data table.